Hello, me hearties. Yes, indeed. It's just me, Scotty McClure. It's Friday night. It's just gone ten past ten in the evening, Friday the 16th of September. And I thought I'd just pop up and say hi to every single one of you and see how you are. So a very, very warm welcome. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is live just for you on TikTok. And come and join us. I want to know how you are, and I want to know how you're coping with all the national mourning. And, of course, Her Late Majesty the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II's funeral is on uh, Monday, uh, starting at 11 o'clock in the morning. There we are. Hello, Martin Dinky Doo. And uh, wild life to follow. Hello from Germany, from the night shift, Lausa. Lovely to have you with us. Nicht Deutscher sprechen, ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht der Verstehen. Uh, there we are, but lovely to have you with us from Germany. Did you ever meet the Queen? No carpet fitter. That was something I didn't do, and uh, sadly I won't meet her now. But uh, bless her, I think I've always been a great follower. Uh, good evening, Scotty and Dinky Doo from the mountains of North Carolina. Jeff, how lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, if you've just joined us for the first time, you're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on TikTok. This is the big one. And make sure you follow me right away. First step. Hi, hi, it's Robbie. Hi, Robbie, Dinky Doo. Uh, football fans as Mole Man. Not really Mole Man. We don't bother with any of that, to be quite honest with you. <coughs> but there we are. Um, if you've just joined us, welcome. Scotty McClue, world's top broadcaster and the world's most humble man, just with you for a bit of chit-chat. Uh, share and share it as soon as you come on, of course, because we want to uh, build everybody up. If anybody's feeling generous tonight, we never ask for anything. If anyone's feeling generous, you'll see that we've got red roses. There we are. So uh, you can send me a red rose. There we are. Can people get paid on TikTok? I'm sure they can. This guy talks nothing but sense. Absolutely. Uh, Favourite Simpsons episode? Oh, I think with Marge and Bart and all the gang. Fantastic. Uh, whereabouts in Scotland are you? Donner Kebab. We're on the West Coast. So there you have it. Jesus loves you. Have a good day. Friends, Jesus doesn't just love us. He adores us, you know, and I think that's very important. Give us a bit of the Glasgow banter, says CJ. So there we are, dinky do CJ. Guys, I want to hear from you. Remember, this is all about you, yeah? Uh, why do you sound like that? I don't know. It's just the way I sound. I always have. Uh, fantastic. Lousa Flauza has sent me a beautiful gift. I thank you. Vince the Vampire. <laughs> the Simpsons love you too. Oh, yes. Bart and Marge with the blue hair. I'm in Fort William. I'm just seeing if you were local. No, Donna Command, we're not local to Fort William, but to a lovely part of the world, Fort William. Uh, there we are. How's it going, Scotty? It's fine, Shish. Good to hear from you. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. We need everybody following. Scotty McClue, nobody should ever not be following Scotty McClue because there's no excuse. Uh, you see what I say? And uh, have have you met the Queen? No, Gordon, I was just saying I haven't uh, met Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, so there we go. Are you a touch of an Irishman? Well, everybody's got a touch of an Irishman in them, I think, to a greater or lesser extent. Where's the picture of you and Lord Reith the Labrador? I haven't seen it behind you for a while. No, it's been replaced with Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, so there we are. And I, I would think that would be very, very popular. There we are. Do you like Brazil? I like. I, I, I don't like Brazil. I love Brazil. Uh, I'm auctioning a top signed by... Oh, my goodness. I don't understand that carpet fitter. You've lost me. Dinky-doo, dinky-doo, Mike. Weren't you on the radio back in the 90s? Yes, on the radio, up until probably a couple of years ago, I would say. Uh, Dinky Doo, Scotty, my man, 30 years of Scotty McClue were celebrated in June of this year. 
There we are. Dinky do, Scotty. Follow us as soon as you can. Thanks, Elizabeth. Excellent stuff. I think to follow, you pop up to the top left and click the plus. Uh, so that shouldn't be too much. Uh, Dinky do, Scotty. What's your favorite memory of each or each? Of HRH or of Her Majesty the Queen. So there you are. Can you do a five accent? Eh? Eh, I think I can, Gareth, Ken, because I know a boy that talks five, eh? Ken. Scotty McClure, the dinky do from Timbuktu. Yes, and did pray the path. Eh, ever been to Dundee, Scotty? Daniel, I know Dundee like the back of my hand, eh? I'm starving, I'm off for a pay. Um, but uh, yes, the Douglas and Angus. The Clappy Road, the Mingus Hill, yes, the Pan Muir, uh, college due to grades. What was that one? Didn't get that one. Uh, do you mean Dinky Do? Uh, do you mean Do? As in a hawker? No, no. Dinky Do is, is all well with you and the world. That's Dinky Do for you. Uh, what's your thoughts on the Rangers tribute to the Queen? I thought it looked very, very nice. And uh, it was so inoffensive, unlike one or two other things, you know what I mean? Wonderful. Do a Ned accent. Oh, can he do a Ned accent? Uh, sit back, says the best God. No, you sit back. You sit back and enjoy yourself. I have to sit forward, otherwise I can't see what you are saying. And that's no good. There we are. Family's feeling generous, guys. You'll see right in the middle of my Glen Gary. We've uh, set a little goal for roses. Yes, which I believe is only one coin. So if you want to send a rose, that would be lovely. Uh, another one now. Uh, I'm bogged down with work. Scotty, you're an intelligent guy for sure. Why keep referring to Jesus? Sorry, not a believer. Well, uh, you're not a believer in what? That's what you need to decide. There we are. Uh, I only talked about Jesus because somebody told me that Jesus loved me. And I was saying, he doesn't just love us, he adores us. Uh, you know, what's your favourite part of Scotland? Oh, all of it. All of it, I would say. From uh, just south of Gretna to uh, just slightly north of the Shetlands. Uh, there we are. My dad was a great fan. He used to howl when you were on the radio. Uh, you were a true Parkhead Forge. Oh, you were at Parkhead Forge. Yes, I opened Parkhead Forge. I can't believe it. Incredible. Thank you, Sean Gobreth, for sending red roses, you kind, kind man. Hello, sir. How are you? We're fine, Jack. Good to have you with us. Uh, there we go. Fair play, a true son of Scotland. Hello from East Kilbride. We love the East Kilbride guys. Ever thought of moving to North Carolina to do radio? You'd be huge on our public broadcasting. Jeff, I would love to do that. And I remember somebody saying, Scotty, you've got to go to the States where the media is king. You'd be great between the Carolinas. Isn't that interesting, Jeff? So you've seen something that he saw. Uh, when were your public morning end? Ten days. We have 10 days of public mourning. Uh, I think you've outmourned anybody. Well, Art Mac, I don't think it's a lot to ask for the incredible service that Queen Elizabeth II gave to these four countries, you know, to the United Kingdom, to Britain. Uh, good evening, Scotty from Norwich. Dinky do. Neil, lovely to have you from Norwich. Liam says, where in Scotland are you? We're on the West Coast, Liam. Uh, what's your thoughts on Govan? We love Govan. It's beautiful. Red Path. He said Govan is beautiful. Absolutely. Everyone loves the Scottish. We're full of love and laughter. Well, have we not acquitted ourselves outstandingly beautifully in the recent days following the passing of Her Majesty the Queen? Thank you, Beachy, for sending me TikToks. Ten wonderful TikToks. You're all very, very kind to me. There we are. Uh, what's your thoughts on Charlie as king? Well, I've always thought Charles will make an excellent king. So I say to you, the queen is dead. God save the king.
Agreed. Uh, mind that woman was going mental on the radio about her wings. Oh, yes. I'm in the West Coast too. Just became a top viewer. You've become a top viewer, Beachy. Hello from Quebec in Canada. Ah, welcome, Quebec. We love you. Je regrette, Monsieur ne parle pas français très vite. Si tu parles longtemps, peut-être je comprends. Uh, Dink you do from Doncaster, soon to be a city, as bestowed by our late sovereign, the Queen. And of course, I know Doncaster very, very well indeed. That's one of my broadcasting stamping grounds. What a great part of the world. Uh, Scotty, what's your thoughts on those that don't like the Queen? Uh, sadly, these people are very, very ignorant. And they need to get the chip off their shoulder. They need to forget whatever rubbish they've had their heads stuffed with as youngsters, and that's not easy. And they need to realize just how much the royal family have done for this country, in particular Queen Elizabeth. Uh, you know, there we are. Yes, we in Scotland have done Her Majesty proud. Rab, we certainly have. There's no doubt about it. Uh, what's your thoughts on Prince Andrew? Well, he's the Queen's son, and I believe was the Queen's favourite son. Very, very interesting. My dad uh, lives in Scotland, but I don't know where, a caravan park. Oh, very nice. Well, that uh, doesn't exactly narrow it down. I uh, hope you're well, Scotty La, dinky you do. I am beachy, and thank you for all your wonderful kindness and your thoughtfulness and for your loyalty. To Scotty McClure. Guys, uh, one of the reasons I popped up tonight, God save the kings from Northern Ireland too. Absolutely greenly. We love it. Dinky do. I like your Glen Gary, Scotty. Thank you. We're very proud to wear the Glen Gary, particularly at this time. Uh, there we are. Now, um, Zandra is to resign royal duties. Uh, that's disgusting. There we are. Uh, how very interesting. Uh, she was a great leader, uh, not a dictator. Oh, no, no, Greenleaf, she was wonderful. Terrific balance. But I was just thinking, uh, I was listening to one of her equerries tonight, equerries, uh, a lieutenant colonel, delightful chap, and he was just saying how wonderful she was and all her thoughts. Uh, if somebody, it was a very hot day, People were in guard duty, you know, could be the, the uh, captain of the guard see that they were all right, you know, that sort of thing. What's the royal family done for this country, Scotty? Well, brought us in billions and billions of pounds for starters. I mean, remember the royal family's self-financing, you know, they take very little from us. So anybody that says they take money is a half-witted idiot. And then um, also the prestige. The prestige is wonderful. Every country in the world wishes they had a monarchy like the British monarchy. You know, absolutely outstanding. And of course, the other thing is the actual function of the monarchy is as custodian curator of the crown. And that's our symbol of authority. So they've done just so much for this country. And when Britannia was around, uh, you know, it, that was... Uh, really a floating embassy. Fantastic. Thank you, Scotland, for our majesties. Uh, send Scotland is amazing. Uh, so there you have it. Her Majesty the Queen is lying in state at Westminster Hall. Yes, Angela, I've just done a short video. You'll see it right on the TikTok right now. If you go and look at my TikTok videos, I just made it a few minutes ago, and uh, it explains the difference between lying at rest in St. Giles Cathedral and lying in state in uh, Westminster Hall in London. Because people were thinking, hang on a minute, why in Scotland is it just called lying at rest? Why is it not lying in state? You can't have it both ways. You know, if we are the state, uh, you know, and Her Majesty is the head of state in Scotland, uh, our late sovereign lady. Uh, so there we go. Uh, so I've explained that. Uh, we'll see if true Celtic fans behave themselves. I cannot see it. What do you think? Well, Rab, um, I mean, sadly, it's a little bit late.
for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, but I have suggested in a TikTok video, you'll see it there, that um, <coughs> the Queen could have, in her Jubilee year, um, bestowed the title Royal on Celtic. So you've got the Royal Celtic Football Club. Do you see what I mean? And that would have brought them into the fold. Uh, so there you are. And I think they're just needing educated. Uh, follow us, guys. Big Ron, thank you for following. Everybody should be allowed their own opinion while theme park. Everybody is. You know, hello, the Queen was one of the best queens for over 70 years. She was grandma to the world. Isn't that beautiful, Shane? Thank you so much. There we are. Share this, guys, and follow me as soon as you come on. What about the children starving and freezing in the UK? Well, Predpath, whether or not you have a monarchy, the poor will always be with us because those are political decisions. Supposing you, sold, you, you did away with the monarchy and sold up every scrap of national treasure, where do you go then to feed the starving children? Where do you go then? You see? So you've got, this is where socialism hits the buffers, some might say. I was the pipe band for 10 years. Trina, fantastic. Uh, Celtic fans are too bitter and sinister to respect Scottish history and traditions. Well, remember a lot of Celtic fans, their uh, origins are not in Scotland. They have come over from the Emerald Isle. Do you see what I mean? And, uh, and I can understand that probably a little bit chippy about what happened in 1840, uh, you know, from that point of view, but they need to move on. So there we have it. Hello, Scotty. Uh, there we are. I bet you support Tony as well. Edward, what a dreadful thing to say to Scotty McClue. How dare you? Think before you open your mouth. There we have it. Is slavery. Well, yes, but you see, slavery was not just the prerogative of the uh, UK or of England. And there was a slave company, and the monarch at the time had shares in it. It was a national uh, slave company uh, at that time. Uh, now, the thing is that I've got to point this out because when we had the emancipation of the slaves, you know, around 1801, so we're going back a good bit at 1829, um, a lot of the poor slaves died because they had nobody to keep them. So as soon as they were freed, you know, what do they do? Because remember that any switched on businesses or companies would have to look after their slaves because they were an asset to the company. So it's quite an interesting history. So I would say to everybody who just points out, why are you not apologizing for the slavery? You say, whoa, 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 catch a grip and let's get everything in context. That doesn't make it right. It doesn't excuse it, but it does explain it. All right? So there's a thought for you. Uh, what have we got here? Um, can I offer you a single malt whiskey, sir? Paul, what a very kind thought, but I don't drink alcohol any longer. I just gave it up because I wanted to drive the car at any time of the day or night. But uh, what a lovely thought. Uh, do you agree with the thousands of bedrooms lying empty while people flee to death outside? Well, Predpath, why would you agree with that? What a silly, silly, silly question. What a silly question. Predpath, try and think of an intelligent question, you know. Uh, dinky do. Uh, they have no function, Scotty. So there you are. Uh, oh, huge function. Absolutely. Uh, who have we got here? User 510. You need to start getting yourself even a wee bit education just to see what is what. Hello, Scotty. How are you? Great to hear you. Uh, Chien, Kian, how lovely to have you with us and a massive dinky-do. 
Uh, I just realized it was you there. The text is quite small, hence the reason you see me leaning forward. Too true, the monarchy is a great symbol for the UK, the dignity that we actually have. Well, Greenleaf, the monarchy isn't just a UK thing. It's actually a British thing. So if Scotland or Wales or England were to go independent, and Brexit has probably meant the end of the UK because it was just bordering on sheer madness. Uh, you know, and the people that voted, they didn't really know what they were doing. Fourth fan, Liz, absolutely. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Have you ever served in Northern Ireland? Well, I wouldn't be going into that on here. Uh, who have we got here? General Independent Scotland will be a Commonwealth realm. The monarchy is Scottish. Yes, the monarchy is absolutely uh, R.I.P. the Queen. I can't remember what radio stations you've been on over the years. Please remind us. Oh, Liz. Well, I've been on Scott FM. I've been on Talk 107. I've been on L107. I've been on Central FM, Centre Sound, as was. I've been on uh, Radio 4th. I've been on Radio Clyde. I've been on Magic Radio. I've been on Hallam FM. I've been on Red Rose Gold, 9.99 AM. I've been on uh, Magic in Leeds and Hull and uh, Sheffield. And uh, I've been on Century Radio. And I've been on Century in the Midlands and in Yorkshire and in Newcastle and all these places. Incredible. So there we have it. It's forced morning by the media to get their agenda going. No use of 510. You really, really, really must get an education if you're coming on to Scotty McClue because this is where the intelligentsia meet, right? So you can't come on forced morning. There's no forced anything. You would have 10 days of national mourning when the monarch passes. Nothing to do with the media, they're just following tradition. So there we are. Now, who have we got here? Scotty, will you at any point play a squeeze box tribute for Her Majesty on here? Jeff, I may well, I don't have the squeeze box with me right now, but I may well actually do that. Fantastic. Now, has everybody watching actually followed? Please do, guys, because this is TikTok's top talk show. And we only pop up random because there's so much going on. Lee says, can I have a dinky-do? Of course you can, Lee. So there we are. Some random has said he is apolitical. Quite right. Good for you. It's 2022, not 1622. We are not bees and don't need a queen. Of course we need a queen or a king. Otherwise, who is the custodian and curator? of the crown, our symbol of authority. Thank you for sending me a crown. How beautiful. Guys, if you look at the middle of the Glen Gary, I set a wee goal for red roses. I thought that was a nice touch. You don't have to give a single thing for Scotty McLuhan. If you want to send a red rose, then that would be great. Uh, who's winning the country, Surrey or county, county championship? Surrey or Hampshire, I've got a, a a glass signed by the Surrey cricket team. What about that? Uh, they don't have to be political decisions, Scotty. Uh, Predpath, they do, because they're not in the gift of the monarch. So it's the politicians that decide who feeds the poor. We know this. You know, it's there in front of you. Uh, from Ireland, Queen Elizabeth did more for Anglo-Irish relationships than any politician ever. Tom, I think you're 100% correct. Ireland loved Queen Elizabeth. They really did. Uh, so there we go. Now then, the king should have more power over the government. Well, you see, this changed in 1688 when they brought William 
over from Holland, William and Mary. Mary was James II's daughter. And when they brought William and Mary over from Holland, they said very clearly to them, you're not coming to run the show. Parliament will run the show. And we're putting an end to absolute monarchy. So that was the start of constitutional monarchy. But I think, I mean, when, uh, you know, Boris Johnston was doing the Brexit stuff and all that, I thought, you know, this mob need cleaned out and the Queen should just take over. Uh, so there we have it. Is it because some people don't like royals so much? Is it because of medieval times? Well, medieval times, they killed the king. They divided poor old Charles the First into a head and a body. And uh, he was a good guy. They should never have done that. They were such cowards. They couldn't do it till two in the afternoon. And there's a black mark on the clock uh, to this day. At, is it St. James or Horse Guards? You'll see a black mark on the clock. That's where black mark comes from uh, when they killed the king. And then, of course, they brought them back pretty quick. Uh, so there we are. Now, she was going to take the public's money to eat her roots. No, she wasn't. Uh, Benny, dinky do. Thank you so much. It's not her who said it was Urhus. Uh, so there we go. Uh, she certainly enjoyed traveling the world. Uh, you will never beat the Royal Artillery, says good day, bad day. There we have it. God bless our dear departed Queen Elizabeth. Absolutely. No doubt about it. There we go. That's lovely. Right. Uh, love from Canada. Steve Mania, that is absolutely outstanding. Thank you. We love your love from Canada. Uh, so there we go. It's quite funny. My late mother only agreed with you and Judge Judy. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Uh, huge doubts about it, says Breadpath. Clear out your doubts, Breadpath. Get your act together. Get sorted. If you're interested in independence, get backing the monarchy. Big style. I will always love her, says Benny. Absolutely, Benny. There we are. Get the old ones out cleaning the windows, says Larson of Paradise. There we have it. Love from Stromness. Damon, how lovely. Stromness in Orkney. Am I correct? Uh, hi from Newcastle on Tyne. Love from Fraserburgh. I love Ken. We love the broch. Uh, too many media brainwashed cretins. Uh, yes, indeed, Predbath, including yourself. Uh, you're about the most brainwashed cretin I've actually had on here. So there's one for you. The KOSB. Yes, the King's Own Scottish Borderers. Uh, so there we are. Uh, did the Queen try using the poverty fund to pay for heating bills from Buckingham Palace? Is it, no, Charlie boy, don't be ridiculous. Right, Buckingham Palace is ours. You know, that's the head of state. There we are. Uh, do you think the Union will survive? I don't think so, to be honest. I think it will struggle after Brexit. But we will be keeping uh, the monarchy 100% intact in Scotland. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, the Irish never loved the Queen. Are you kidding? The Irish adored the Queen. All the best from Lerwick. Glynn, how lovely to have you with us from Lerwick. We love that. Thank you so much. Uh, Jeff has sent me red roses. I love it. Thank you so much. We love you, Scotty. Thank you, Ewan. You're very kind. The Brooke, says Liz. Absolutely. The Brooke. You're correct, my friend, says David. Hi from Newcastle, says Jordy Dan. Jordy Dan, how lovely to have you. We are there from Newcastle, you and more lass. Uh, America will always love her. I'm a Manx American. Wow. You're an American from the Isle of Man. Guys, if anybody wants to send some uh, red roses, please do. User 8389 has just sent a beautiful gift. Abolish the royals and the Tory state. And Charlie Boy, who's going to feed you? Never bite the hand that feeds you. The Tories are not connected with the royals. 
The royals are apolitical. So that's a very, very, very silly thing to say, Charlie Bahoy. There we are. Uh, thank you, Benny. Double your thank you for sending me red roses. You're very, very kind. Benny, steady on. Benny's just sent me 21 red roses, guys. Is that not beautiful? Uh, yes, the Lob One Out campaign, Larson. Do you remember that? Salut, mon ami, from Ottawa. Oui, merci. Uh, love from Stennis. There you are. Ah, you and right. Benny W. Benny W. sending me more red roses. Guys, thank you so much for your red roses. So there we are. Uh, the Queen abuse our Irish people? Never. Not in a million years, do you think? The Queen, beautiful. You saw her meeting Martin McGuinness. Benny has sent me 70 red roses. Benny, thank you. Scotty, you're very patronizing. Uh, so there we are. Uh, Predpath, don't be ridiculous. In fact, if you're not with us, I think we'll dump you. Uh, what should we do with Predpath, guys? Doing the Swanee? What do we think? Have a think about it and let me know. What shall we do with Predpath? There we are. Uh, let me know and we shall decide. If you're not with us, you're a Guinness. Love from Hoy. Ah, David, do you ken the old man of Hoy? Wow. Who sent me something there? Uh, the globalist agenda, you'll own nothing and be happy. I don't think that will come to anything, user 405. Uh, Newcastle held the king prisoner years ago, William the First. Yes, it did. Scotty, Halloween is until the 31st of October. Well, you don't need to dress up then, Steve. Connor has sent me red roses. Connor, you are very, very kind. I thank you. 3,000 likes tonight, guys. Now, that's very beautiful. Um, my late granddad was a king's own Scottish borderer. Wonderful. Uh, I love man will always love the crown, of course. I love your hat. I thank you, Ottawa. We'll see about that, Scotty. No, Prepath, there's nothing to see about. You need to get yourself an education. I'm not patronizing you. I'm just telling you that, you know, you've got so much wrong. Uh, you know, you need, to, you need to get an education. Will we mute you? Will we block you? We'll mute you for a wee while. I'll keep you quiet. There we are. Mute the account. That's it. Kaylee sent me an ice cream, some weights. Uh, some TikToks, footballs. Uh, what does that look like? That looks like a sweet corn. Uh, a calendar. <laughs> a corn. Uh, mute him, says Liz. Yes, he's muted. Don't worry. Uh, hi, Dinky Do from Gary from Tennessee. We love it. We've got all our American friends on tonight. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful guys. The bread path will not be bullied into silence. It's not a question. We don't do any bullying on here. We just don't have uh, silly, silly people wasting time. We haven't time for that. You need to come on with an education. I'm a Raglonian from Rutherglen and Croft Foot. We know it and we know the king's part. So there we are. Time is precious. Absolutely. Uh, I saw our king today, Scotty, in Cardiff. Logan. Fantastic. What was it like? Do tell. Guys, I've got 150 red roses. Thank you so much. That's so beautiful. Scots who are anti-monarchy misunderstand the nation's history and its traditions. Of course, because the monarchy is Scottish. We took over the English crown in 1603. Have you ever been to the Stennis ice cream shop? That's a luxury I've denied myself up until now, that I may well do so. Uh, why do Pfeiffers never eat Weetabix? I don't know. Tell me. I finally got my first scally hat, and I love it. Jordy, thank you for my cup of tea. Jordy D has sent a cup of tea. I'm half Venetian, half American. I grew up in the Commonwealth. Beautiful. I will wear my tartan. 
A Black Watch for My Queen, Benny. Thank you. We salute you, Benny. Bless you. Top man. Thank you for my cup of tea. Did you go to the Edinburgh Festival? No, no. A lot of booing going on today. Yes, I wonder if booers should be, I don't know what, is a form of treason. Isn't it booing the king? I mean, that's that's a bit of a baddie, isn't it? And then, yet again, we do need free speech, but booing is just just bad manners, a lack of lack of upbringing. Uh, Scotty, they're turning this into a tourist attraction. No, I don't think so. I'm glad to be listening to all the royalists. Oh, everybody loves them. Uh, have you ever tried Orkney ice cream? I think I have, actually. And does Orkney not do cheese as well? How beautiful is that? And you're a true Scotsman. Absolutely true. As true as they come. What a fair mate. I'm Faye, West Coast of Scotland, Boers, uh, says Liz. Yes, she doesn't like them. Uh, so there we have it. Scotty to Plank, I don't think we like you. So there we are. So we'll block you. Gone. Right, that's the end of that. Ah. Does treason still exist? If so, what's the punishment? Uh, no, I, I don't think you can be hanged for it any longer. You know what I mean? But maybe a wee spell in the Tower of London would sort the anti-monarchists out. Uh, from that point of view, being the king is pathetic and embarrassing, says Big Gull Boot. Uh, if you have anything to say about Nicola Sturgeon, I have to say I love uh, her love of Her Majesty is great. Oh, absolutely. I think Nicola has been an outstanding representative for Scotland. You know a true Scot supporting a corrupt English crown? There's no such thing, Charlie Boy, as a corrupt English crown. It's a Scottish crown. The crown is Scottish. Nemo me impun la cassette. What or meddle we me? Nobody, nobody attacks me with impunity. The Scottish crown. So there we are, so. So you're no, you're no a true Scot if you don't support the crown. There we are. Hello from England. We love you in England, Darren. There we are. Uh, see if I'm going to debate. Are you going to mute me because of an opinion? No, Ben. We don't mute opinions unless they're of somebody suffering from idiocy, which we've had a couple of times tonight. Also, one or two rude comments that are not true. Uh, so, no matter what we say, somebody will get offended. Uh, you get arrested for holding out a blank sheet of paper. Are we in Korea? You know, but I think people need a bit more sensitivity at this time. The royal family have lost their mother, their grandmother, their aunt, their cousin. Do you know what I mean? So, um, just steady, steady. So there we have it. You're very popular up here in Orkney, says David Lawton. David, I thank you. I send love to the Arcadians. I must come and see you all. And have a look round Kirkwall and Strumness. And uh, where else? Uh, Papa Westray. Uh, I follow Scott. Yes, everybody should be following Scotty McClure. There we are. My mother's side of the family is Scottish. I'd pay anything to see its beautiful countryside. Joel, you would absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Now, who have we got here? Uh, they maintain a small execution chamber in Perth Prison in case of legislation change. Ah, old boy extraordinaire. Uh, there we are. God save the king. Uh, Charles is the son of a beautiful Scottish queen. God save him. Absolutely, Benny. There we are. Uh, who have we got? Thank you for sending me a CEO. How lovely is that? Guys, get following as soon as you come on. I'm not an anti-monarchist, but a true Scotsman. I don't support the crown. All Scots need to support the crown. Our independence is toast. The crown is Scottish. We saw it sitting on Her Majesty's coffin in St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh. 
So you need to get supporting the monarchy, guys. Otherwise, independence, toast. So there we are. Uh, my ancestor, Andrew, died in Carlisle jail in the wars of independence. Wow. So we're talking the 1200s. Wow. You're having a laugh now, Scotty. Get real. No, Charlie boy, I'm telling you the truth. If you don't support the monarchy, we'll lose 50% of the vote. The same has happened in 2014. Yeah. And uh, that's independence up the chute. So get supporting. You're having a laugh, Charlie. Scotty for King. <laughs> there we are. Now, who have we got here? Then you don't support Scotland. The Crown represents the nation and its people. Quite right. Clan Montgomery here in the United States of America. We love it. I've got 4,000 likes, guys. This is beautiful. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, my goodness me. Amazing stuff. Guys, get following. We need to get more followers going as soon as you possibly can. Everybody watching right now should be following. Scotty McClure has been watched on TikTok by 42.6 million people. Logan, thank you for my red roses. So beautiful. We've now got on the red roses. I'm just watching. Uh, oh, my goodness. They're going up and up and up and up and up. Hello from Northern Ireland. Hello. How are you? How lovely to have you with us from Northern Ireland. We love the clan Montgomery from America. Evening, Scotty. I hope you're well. Or Donkey, we're very well. There we are. You're in form tonight, Scotty. Oh, decal. I thank you. You are very, very kind. Uh, you know, now what do we got here? England loves its Scottish brothers, indeed. Scotty, I'm considering muting you. That would be so foolish when you're getting a free education. There we are. That's on my regimental standard. Absolutely, Pepe. Uh, so there we go. Nobody attacks without impunity. No, with impunity, if you see. I'm a descendant of Robert the Bruce. America loves the Queen. We love it. Uh, there we are. Now, who have we got here? Uh, I'm not going to be rude, but I somewhat respect you, but I don't the crown. So there we are. Well, Ben, work out why you don't respect the crown, because it's our symbol of authority uh, in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. There we are. From Balhome in Persia. Fantastic. When is midgy season? Is it all over Scotland or just one place? Midgy season goes on quite a bit. I would say midges can be quite bad from probably from about May. May, June, July, August. And then they're no in it with the wind and stuff. Uh, has your absence been in respect? Or have you been busy? No respect, Galileo. I wanted to approach the national morning, and you'll see I was properly attired uh, and that sort of thing. Thoughts on the Highland clearances? Dreadful, Charlie boy. Dreadful. Yes, we really resent the Highland clearances. My great, 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 great grandfather invented the oat cake. Liz, we love that. I've got 200 red roses. You guys are beautiful. Scotland the Brave, finally a guy with a set. Oh, absolutely. Mayor of Frogtown. Uh, now, who else have we got here? Thank you for my little crown, Benny. Uh, Howdy from Cleveland in Ohio. Isn't that beautiful, Mr. Pickles? Can everybody get following, guys? I've got 4,900 likes. This is so beautiful. Togetherness. Yes. Does it matter about the crown? Well, of course it does. That's like saying to America, do you want to keep the stars and stripes? You know? I mean, how good would your reception be on that one? Of course the crown matters. It's vital. Always matters. But do you think the Queen's death has reaffirmed Scotland's love of the monarchy? I think so, Calilio, but Scotland's always loved the monarchy 
it doesn't take the Queen's death to reaffirm. It's always been affirmed that the Scots are big, big monarchists. You know, that's the way of it, you know, and that's the way it will always be. Yes, because without the crown, Scotland is dead. Uh, there we go. Now, I had a pint, says Liz. Have you, Liz? What about defender of the faith? Anti-Catholic. Well, no, not anti-Catholic at all. Catholic uh, just means universal. And the royals are great universalists. But they've opted not to be run from Rome. You see? And I think that's probably correct. So you've got the Westminster Confession of Faith. And also, if you look at the Church of England, High Church, then you'll see that it's virtually the Mass. Yeah. So it was only Henry VIII, but the Scots, of course, are totally different. But I mean, I can remember uh, Charles, when, as Prince of Wales, saying he would probably like to be defender of faith. You see what I mean? Because we're, we're multi-faith now. And of course, uh, Protestants and Catholics are the same religion. They are very much the same faith. So you need to have a think about that. I remember asking somebody the question. I said, what religion is the Pope? They went, he's Catholic. I said, no, no, he's Christian. Yeah, see, that's the whole thing. It's just a, a rechange of denomination. Uh, Scotland, the Republic, Charlie boy, forget that. Never, ever even utter those words. Our independence is toast. And I don't want us to lose uh, the chance of independence because people like you don't understand the value of the crown. Wador medal we me. Nemo me impun. La keset. Uh, to support the independence movement, or would you like our union to keep intact? I don't think the union will survive, Joel. And I've been very, 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 very unimpressed with the way successive Westminster governments have treated Scotland. So Scotland should be self-governing, but under the crown. Thank you for my red roses, guys. I've got 200. 42.6 million, Mr. Pickles. That's who's been watching Scotty McClue on TikTok. Uh, there you have it. Get following, guys. Uh, now, what do we got here? Oh, Benny's sending more red roses. I'm curious what you will do when we get independence, because it will happen. I think it will, Ben, but only under the crown if there's even a whiff of republicanism dead in the water, end of independence, and we won't get it. So I'm telling people to wise up. Hello from Helen's Rug on your cell, says Benny. Hello from Dumbarton, says Dunkey. Disco Pete has very generously come on. Tell us a joke, says Logan. Logan, you know, I don't know any jokes. Gonna love Scotty's quick comebacks. Well, yes, Joel. Why the Queen in the picture? Are you a sycophant also? No, Celtic Minster. It's out of respect for the wonderful service Her Majesty has given to this country. And I put that picture up the other night, yes, and replaced the picture of Lord Reith the Labrador on his graduation day with myself in tow to hold his hood. Independent Scotland in a united Ireland. I don't think that's too far away, Charlie Boy. I spoke to somebody very senior uh, in Ireland, and they said to me, I, it won't be long till uh, there's unification in Ireland, particularly with the Brexit thing. Uh, I want my student loan back for this. <laughs> Is this an elective module? Liz, free education from Scotty McClure. Wire in, I say to you. Scotty, do you remember Andy Stewart's rendition of the rumour? Do you know user 510? I remember it very well. They shouted at it least, but oh, the tone grew more discreet as it travelled along Princess Street. <laughs> and then it finishes up, doesn't it? Why should, well, that's fit I heard anyway. 
Then it finished up where the time it reached the islands. They'd forgotten what it was. Uh, Benny, thank you for my beautiful red roses. You are so kind. Then why do you need authority? Well, everybody needs authority. Look at the behavior of some people. The Crown has no authority. Get your facts right. <laughs> Celtic Minster, you don't have talk, pony. Right? Of course the Crown is our authority. Everything has the Crown on it. All the armed services, the inland revenue, the civil service, the police, everything. Her Majesty is this, Her Majesty is that, the government, the Majesty of government, everything is under the crown, the law. So what do you mean, get your facts right? Something makes the, you make me laugh with your ignorance, but it is frightening. I say to you, I tell you, there we are, the Kingdom of Scotland and the Kingdom of Ulster. You see, Ulster isn't the six counties. I think you'll find Ulster is nine counties. A different thing there, isn't it, when you think about it? My goodness me. Fantastic. Who have we got here? I know why I don't respect the crown. Do we just ignore what our favourite son does? Well, Ben, there is absolutely zero evidence of anything there. So I don't know what you're even talking about. We don't know. This is you jumping on a bandwagon. So there we are. So all her favourite son has done is be her favourite son. That's all we know. Thank you, do, Scotty. Hello. Ulster Scots don't exist. Well, they do actually, Charlie. So there you are. Yes, indeed. Glasgow's having a plague of fruit flies. <laughs> I paid 12 million to silence somebody never. Well, Ben, the reason they paid that uh, money, as far as I can see, is because they didn't want to upstage the Diamond Jubilee. Sorry, the Platinum Jubilee. You know, so it actually was better just just sort that out. Do you know what I mean? Because otherwise, it could have upstaged Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee. So there we are. So you know, less of your doubting, Thomas Ben. And, uh, you know, think, right, okay, fair enough. I see where you're coming from. Have you ever worked on fishing boats? I have, David. Very much so. And on MFVs. And been part of helping to fit new engines, Kelvins, Gardners, Glenifers. Beautiful stuff. And, of course, the design of the fishing boat. Fantastic. We absolutely love it. So, yes, indeed, I have worked on fishing boats. Uh, not fishing, but the MFE. Beautiful. Now, marine fishery vessel. Yes, I like how Scotland's located in Great Britain. Yes, because Great Britain, Great Britain is a land mass. You look great, says John. John, I thank you. You're very kind. Well, but Nicola signing to uphold the Protestant dominance. Well, that's what you have because there is a Protestant dominance because we had a Reformation 500 years ago. And then we had the Act of Settlement, so 1701, and the Act of Secession. Succession. Uh, what about uh, that? So Nicola, uh, her allegiance is to the monarch, you know, because the monarch, is the head of state for Scotland. Capiche? There we are. It was our sovereign lady, her late majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. It's now our sovereign lord, King Charles III, head of state for Scotland. And our majesty, our late majesty, granted the people of Scotland parliamentary sovereignty. She will retain the ultimate sovereignty, or that would be passed on to the king. Uh, greetings from the Highlands. God save the queen and long may the queen rest. God save the king and long may the queen rest. Elvindry, thank you. So there we have it. Now, who have we got here today? Dinky Doo uh, from XHMP Everthorpe. Dinky Doo Daz. Rule Britannia. Yes, a lovely 
Scottish song. Rule Britannia was written by a Scotsman. Uh, fantastic. Scotland doesn't exist if it isn't British. Well, Britain, uh, the term British, there is no such country as Britain. It's a land mass. And British should really only be applied to the monarchy. Yeah. Uh, Britain is made up of four countries. All right. Great Britain is the big bit. And then there's another smaller bit in north of Ireland since 1922. After Culloden, what did the monarchy do? Well, the monarchy after Culloden became, of course, the um, the um, Hanoverians, the Hanoverian succession, you see. So there we go. But uh, McLaudin was bad news, uh, you know. Up the Royal Artillery, says the Cleary fella, obviously a British Army man. Uh, some uh, Ulster Scots are hillbillies. Oh, away you go. Never had so much rubbish in my life. Finn has followed us. The monarchy will end shortly. Celtic Minster. <laughs> <laughs> You're as mad as a box of frogs. The monarchy predates Scotland. We've actually had a monarchy before we had Scotland. The monarchy, uh, the monarchy has been around for 2,347 years. 2,347 years. So you had a Celtic monarchy before Jesus was born. What about that? So the chances of it ending after 2,347 years because of a dafty like you are zero. Happy? Capish. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Scotland voted for the Crown in 2014. Yes, and uh, Scotland voted for the Crown in 1220. Was it 1220? The Declaration of our growth. Now, there you have it. A great, great grandmother invented the Kirby Group. Wow, was she from Kirby? Kirby in Liverpool. Fantastic. We love it. We love the monarchy in Liverpool. There we are. Hello, it's Dean from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. How are you doing, Mr. Scotty? Dean, how lovely to have you with us. Coming from Alabama with a banjo on your knee. Guys, I'm going to have to go soon. This has been an absolute blast tonight. Take great, great care of your dear selves. Fantastic. And thank you so much for joining us. Uh, there we are. Did you see the video of the casket guard that fainted? I think that was one of the archers, the Queen's bodyguard for Scotland. Because that can happen if you're standing too long. The blood goes to your feet and doesn't reach your heart and your brain. Oi, oi, Scotty! Absolutely. Oi, oi. Henry VIII wanted his home elsewhere. That's how the Protestant religion started. Uh, no, Protestant religion started with the Reformation around the same time, right across Europe, because they didn't want to be uh, ruled by Rome. I think the monarchy is in safe hands for the next three generations. I think so. I know it's Dean from Alabama. Fantastic. The Republic of Scotland sounds great, Scotty. Never happened. Never happened. You're a fantasist. God save the king. Uh, so there we are. Is Nicola Sturgeon keen to keep the monarchy? You bet. Because she knows without the monarchy, independence is toast. Hello from Leicester. Kieran, lovely to have you with us from Leicester. Uh, what's the hat? The hat's the Glen Gary. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. We're out of time. Good night. God bless. Dinky-doo. And ta-ra, Love you all.